What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a particle effect for our game. So in the last tutorial, we saw how to create the thing, but as you can see, I created a better character and a better background. You can create the same thing or you can create it as unique you like. So now we're going to create the, the fire that's coming out of the rocket. So it's going to be small little circular particles. So I'm create a very small, hold on, shift, and create a, part, a small little circle. You want to set, you want to say, when green light clicked, forever, change x by Two, and then you want to wait one, different one seconds, and then you want to say change it by negative two. There we go. Then it should give it like kind of a shaky, so it looks like it's shaking. That's just gonna make sure it, it doesn't always go to to that position. Okay, but duplicate it and delete the code inside, and then say go to player. That's just gonna stop this thing, and that's not a problem. We don't need this anyway. So now we want to say um. Forever create clone of myself. I actually want to stop it and then I say wait some 0.1 second when I start as a clone, repeat uh, um, 50 times. And uh, change actually I also want to point towards the player change to where my one negative one and and um change the ghost effect by Yeah, ghost effect. So that's, I mean, one change to one, but negative two. Oh, like so. There we go, we pretty much have that. But as you can see, it's not right. So we actually want to change the Y to change movement. Move two steps. There we go. There we go. Maybe actually, I don't think so. It has to be in the center, it has to be like kind of right here, I guess. There we go. Um. 
I think that the Y was much better. Uh, change it by two. And there we go. I guess that looks pretty nice. Now you want to change. Set color to change color by change it by one. If Let's see. The peach. Peach. And the peach. This. Actually, we actually need this to go forever. This thing, this, let's say, change color. All I one, hit 10 times, and then set color to zero. Actually, we don't want to change the size. There we go. Oops. Size <laughs> wrong. And that should fix all the bugs. Why is it doing that? Create another loop. Three loops. Two loops that's running with the same code. There we go. Wait. Go to and remember to say go to back. I think that we're going to say, um, hide it. And then when we start the clone, we want to show. And there we go. That kind of looks good, but still, when it's not coming out of the place, it should come down from. It's pretty nice. Still. Or maybe we could create as if it's burning and we don't want to hit any of those stones so we don't burn too much. That's a good idea. So let's take front, delete this block, delete this block too. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's him. Make sure it shows. I 
and then we want to create more party calls. Actually, we don't need to say go to front if we are a clone. Uh, we want to say hide and then take that and set that to show. That's going to fix any bugs. And make sure this one is centered again. Um, yes. Now we have the burning plane. Duplicate that and duplicate it how many times you like. As uh, depends on how many party calls you would like. And there's nothing any change. Then you want to go to the second one. Take it a little bit away. Take the other one. Other side. Now. See, we have a fire. It's burning. Let's keep that safety. And now there's a bug. There is no more party calls. Why? Because Scratch has a clone. Um, a clone. Um, limit. The reason why is because then Scratch will not lag if there's too much, too many clones. So you want to say delete this clone on each of loops, and that should fix that bug. So now we can see we have we can play the game. It's nice, nothing, no bugs. Pretty nice. So, yeah, and that was it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create the enemy particles. So, see you guys in the next one. Bye.